Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is New York City Cichlids, and today I have a DIY project for you. But before we get to the homemade filter media, let's talk a little bit about filtration and mechanical filtration. Now, in my opinion, a solid filtration system, whether you use a canister filter or hang on the back filter or even a sump or an internal filter, a solid filtration system should consist of a mechanical stage a biological stage and a chemical stage now where I differ from most fish keepers or most that I've seen is I like to start with my mechanical which we can all agree on but the second stage in my filtration is always chemical if I use chemical filtration most of the time I don't even use that no purigen no chemipure but we'll leave that for another video but when it comes to filtration Mechanical is very important. It should be the beginning. It should be the first, second tray of your canister filter or your other filtration. And within your mechanical filtration, you should have different stages, if that makes sense. But uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Your different stages in your mechanical filtration. You should start with coarse media, then medium media, and then your fine media. Now, today we'll be talking about the stage even before the coarse media, which will be your pre-filter. Now, the whole point of the pre-filter, which uh, Eheim makes one that is called Effimec, and Fluval makes one, which is called pre-filter, uh, not to be confused with uh, Biomax, because they look like bio rings, but they're not. The whole idea of your pre-filter is to actually trap all those big particles and the big pieces of detritus that might go into your filter before they even get to your sponges because if you don't use a pre-filter your sponges will get clogged up faster and then you will have to do maintenance on your filters even sooner now let's get to the DIY mechanical filtration section of the video now a lot of people use these little pot scrubbers, the plastic or the nylon pot scrubbers as biomedia and it serves its purpose. It's a, it's a great biomedia and I'll be talking about that in another video. But something that I've been doing for a while is actually using the pot scrubbers in the first tray. This is very important. It is your pre-filter. Use it as a pre-filter and just jam pack the first tray of mechanical filtration in your canister filter or your hang over the back filter like I said jam pack that with the pot scrubbers and that's gonna be your pre-filter these pot scrubbers are like five or six six of them for one dollar so you could really get three four bags of that depending on the size of your filter and just jam pack it the first section the first tray with these and those will be your pre-filter and they will trap as you can see in this video they will trap every single particle that you have bigger than your sponges then when it's time to do maintenance on your filters you just take out these pot scrubbers the plastic pot scrubbers and rinse them out rinse them out in regular tap water or in your tank water and put them back in and they'll go right back to doing their job they'll last forever they're made out of plastic so they won't disintegrate like some other medias now i hope you found this video helpful again this is a pre-filter this is the layer that you would use before your sponges before your other mechanical filtrations thank you all for watching and until next time